Welcome to our daily devotions coming to you from Church of the Palms in Sarasota, Florida. Throughout these summer months with uh, folks on, away on vacation and Pastor Lori on sabbatical, there will be days like today when it works best for us to play for you a, a golden oldie from our depository of devotions. So we hope you find this message as timely as when it was first offered and that it becomes for you a way to reflect upon the timelessness of God's Word. So let us now prepare our hearts and minds by listening to some beautiful music. Will you pray with me? God, guide us, lead us, fill us with your love as we consider your lesson to us for today. Amen. This summer was one of the most memorable ones in a long, long time for me. I took my sweet 88-year-old dad to Sweden on a trip that is best described as historic. Our family moved to Sweden as missionaries when I was three years old. So basically my entire childhood up to age 14 was completely Swedish. Our parents tried to keep the English going in our home, but it was mostly a mixture of the two languages and hence a real adjustment to speaking English only when we returned to the States. Apparently it didn't work very well to throw in Swedish words here and there. But here we were now 47 years after leaving that beautiful Scandinavian land and dad had never been back even for a visit. My sisters and I had taken trips back at various times and we kept in touch with friends throughout. We knew this would be a big, big deal for him. And so I bought, brought extra supply of Kleenex to help with the emotional part. Well, the tissues turned out to be unnecessary as dad just had a grand time and got to practice his Swedish language skills again. He was happy. I was beyond happy to spend time with my father in this beautiful country of long ago. We wished it never had to end. But toward the end, we visited the unbelievably beautiful and very large Uppsala Cathedral. Built between 1287 and 1435, yeah, that's about 150 years, it is the largest church in Scandinavia. We went to this glorious place to hear an organ recital. And it is fair to say that the difference between that place and heaven seemed really small at that time. Let's pause here for our scripture reading, shall we? It's from Matthew chapter 22, starting with verse 33. The crowds were profoundly impressed by his answers, but not the Pharisees. When they heard that Jesus had routed the Sadducees with his reply, they thought up a fresh question of their own to ask him. One of them, a lawyer, spoke up, Sir, which is the most important command in the laws of Moses? Jesus replied, 
Love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, and mind. This is the first and greatest commandment. The second most important is similar. Love your neighbor as much as you love yourself. All the other commandments and all the demands of the prophets stem from these two laws and are fulfilled if you obey them. Keep only these and you will find that you are obeying all the others. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I know, I know, this is perhaps the most quoted passage in the entire New Testament. It is actually the foundation for our dear Church of the Palms as it lays out the master plan for our lives. Love God and love neighbor. Ever heard that phrase around here? But there's a certain detail in the Uppsala Cathedral that I haven't told you about yet. Ready for this? The length of the building is exactly 118.7 meters, 118.7. The height of the building is exactly 118.7 meters. So the vertical and horizontal dimensions are exactly the same, 118.7. You can't possibly think this was a coincidence, right? The builders were obviously trying to send a message to all future generations about the importance of keeping the vertical and the horizontal relationships in equal measures. By the way, that's about the equivalent of a 36-story building. So that's a really tall and long church. Anyway, too much vertical, and we are like monks, living alone, devoted to God, maybe even completely silent, but then with no interaction with fellow humans. Too much horizontal emphasis, and we are at a church that perhaps gives out free food, but doesn't spend time worshiping and meditating on God. In our passage in Matthew, Jesus hints at the balance between our vertical love of God and our horizontal love of neighbor. I have a feeling that he would approve of the building plan for the Uppsala Cathedral and that he would be happy to sit next to me and dear dad as we listen to the glorious organ music and let our eyes travel upward to the high ceiling pointing us toward God but also keeping track of our fellow humans sitting right next to us, people of all classes of society. It was a free concert after all. So we have it all in Uppsala. And now we just need to make it happen here as well. Let's look for that perfect balance in our lives every day, upward and sideways. Let's pray one more time. Oh God, thank you for earthly reminders of heavenly truths. Help us to worship and serve you better. Lord, we want to love you and love our neighbors. So keep pushing us that way. Amen.